Hey guys. Hi guys, my name is April from Parrot Playhouse, and I want to warn you about the deadly Newcastle disease that is running rampant through Southern California, and because of this infectious disease, thousands of birds are being euthanized. Chickens, parrots, all kinds of birds. Now, many people thought that this was just a chicken strain, a strain that only chickens could get, but parakeets, cockatoos, many other parrots are testing positive for this disease and they are being destroyed. So first we're gonna take a look at the maps. We're gonna look at the quarantine zone. Then we're gonna talk about the parrot products coming out of the California quarantine zone and why you should avoid many of these products. So this disease does not spread any further and to your birds. Okay guys, so this is the map for the avian Newcastle quarantine zone. This is where the infected birds are. This is the CDFA avian Newcastle map. Link is below to the CDFA. You can stay up to date on all the Newcastle updates. So as you can see, everything inside of the broken purple lines is in the infected zone. We have Los Angeles, San Bernardino, Riverside. So Temecula is in there. We've got Big Bear, we've got West Covina, we've got Pasadena, even Beverly Hills is in there, you guys. So if you can stay away from going into the infected zone, that is ideal. If you live in there, be so very careful not to spread this disease to your parrots. This is the form on the CDFA site uh, warning people on spreading this virus to their parrots, what to avoid. So basically you want to avoid any bird events, guys. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Stay out of pet shops. Stay out of bird marts. Stay out of pet expos. This disease spreads so easily. And then as you can see here, this is the can that they're sticking them in. That's CO2. It's makeshift. There's like duct tape around it. They stick the bird inside. They blast them with CO2. They open it again. The bird is usually not dead. They stick another bird. And this just keeps going and going and going. You guys, this is really serious. This is why you also don't want to order any products unless it comes directly from a factory that doesn't have birds. If you are buying any kind of bird products where there are birds there, your birds can also be exposed. You see, there's the CO2 tank. It's terrible, you guys. It is so scary. The other thing that is really scary is this disease can lie dormant for up to 10 years. So if a bird looks healthy, it still can be secretly carrying this disease. And that is why the CDFA is not hesitating and they are destroying sick and healthy birds. Nothing will stop them. And you guys, this looks like a terrible, and I mean a terrible death. People are always asking me why I do not allow my birds to do collabs with other birds or why I don't let bird people come over unless they change their clothes in the garage and they take their shoes off, you guys, and why I don't go to meet and greets with my birds. I love my birds way too much to risk their lives for something so selfish and because I know it's wrong because I know diseases can spread. It would just be selfish of me to risk my birds' lives. My birds are my kids, and I also do not want to contaminate other people's birds with my flock's germs. Each flock has separate germs, and they adapt to their germs. So you guys, having birds is a lot of fun, but it's also a personal thing. You do not want to let your birds hang out with other birds because you do not know who those birds are hanging out with. And when something like Newcastle happens and the disease is spreading and the CDFA knocks on your door with a warrant and they enter into your house and they test your birds, you want to know that your birds have absolutely no chance of testing positive because if they test negative, I've showed you what happens. Don't take the risk. Don't be selfish. Let's stop the spread of this disease.